two games into the season now, that's, that's two wins with two bonus point wins. Um, having spoke to a couple of you guys in interviews after, after the games, after those games, um, maybe not, not the best pleased with the performance, but having come away with those wins, what does that say about the, the culture of trying to you know, maintain the highest standards possible at Saracens? Yeah, I think uh, if you look at the where we are in terms of 10 points from two games, I think uh, in many years gone by, we'd be really pleased. But I think we never want to judge on terms of score lines and in terms of points accrued. I think it's very much a case of the, the personal feeling and amongst the team on have we achieved what we set out to do. And I think the overwhelming feeling is, is that we've done it in patches. Um, we yet to marry up a full performance and we've been working tirelessly this week and in preparation for Northampton on the weekend to put together two halves and to put together the fundamentals that makes the Saracens performance what it is. So yeah, still lots to work on, uh, many positives to take out of the first two weeks. But I think the great thing about this team is that there's the, the hunger and desire to get better. After such a long pre-season, it, it must be quite tough going straight into competitive professional rugby um, after su such, a, such a big break. Now there's two games that, that have already been, been and gone. Hoping to see you know, a bit, bit more improvement against, against Northampton this weekend. Of course, I think um, it's the start of the season and you're always in that um, sort of middle ground between trying new things and, and building on the success you had last year. So um, we still yet to find the right formula in terms of how we do it. But uh, as I can say, the, the team and management and coaching staff are passionate about doing it and we, uh, we know there's a lot more to come from the squad. We've seen obviously lots of, lots of great things um, uh, from the team already this season. Um, especially that second half against against Bristol, where you know there's the, a much more more complete performance. Um, scoring a lot of tries at the moment, Brad. Um, is that is that something that's obviously the coaching staff and yourself been, been, been working on in, in training and you know finishing a bit better? Yeah, I think even towards the back end of last season, we saw that the team can score a lot of points. I think uh, we're trying to execute slightly better, and that's probably the thing that let us down against Bristol. Is we had sort of four or five opportunities within their 22 and didn't come away with the points or, or the dividends that we did to get the hard work in there. So um, we know as a team that in big games you need to take the few opportunities you get, and it's something that we constantly look to improve. And, and finally, of course, um, Northampton away this weekend. They've come off the back of a, a really good win against um against Harlequins, their first win of the season. They're a tough side to play at home. Um, confident ahead of you know a, a tough trip to, to Northampton? Yeah, it's always going to be a tough one up at Franklin's Gardens. Um, they're a new team um, under new management. So, you know, we have to quickly put behind us what happened last season. We know it's a fresh outlook and they've got some fantastic players and great strength and depth in their team. Um, it's always going to be a hostile environment and we've just got to look to relish that and enjoy it and, and soak it all in.